So you're the crazy real estate agent that wants to call expired listings? Well, that's perfect because today in this video, we're gonna go over the 10 tips of what you need to be doing when you call expired listings. What's going on everybody? Kyle Powers here with the Elevated Realtors. Realtors helping realtors elevate the level of professionalism in the real estate industry. As always, I do appreciate you guys checking out the channel. Let's go and jump right in. First tip on our list is going to be research the house and research that seller. Here's the thing, when you call up expireds, don't just call anybody and everybody without knowing what you're talking about, okay? You need to know where the address is, what that house looks like. You don't necessarily need to go into it, okay? You don't have to have been in it at any point in time, but do your research. Know what the house looks like. What I do a lot of is I actually pull up the house itself and say, okay, this is what it looks like. This is why, um, in your own head, why it doesn't sell or why it isn't selling and call those sellers up and know what's going on. You don't necessarily know have to know their whole backstory because you're gonna get that, honestly, but know what that looks like and know what you're getting into before you call them, okay? There's also another thing to it is that you don't necessarily wanna go into a certain area, don't call that one, okay? But if you're like me, then I call every all of Manhattan and I go uh, continue pushing that way. Second tip is timing is key. I always try to do it within the first 24 hours, the moment that hits, because typically what happens with that is the real estate agent who was the listing agent hasn't called them up or hasn't tried to uh, renew that contract or do anything that way. You can wait up to a week sometimes if it still has not hit the market again, but if you catch them within that first 24 hour window, typically the phone call goes something like this. Uh, I, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I didn't, I, you know, I was calling you on 123 Main Street and I saw that your house has expired. What are your goals with that house? Are you looking to try to still sell that or what are you thinking? And then stop talking. But then typically the conversation goes to, really? I didn't know that it had expired. I didn't even know it wasn't on the market. And then take your conversation that way. Because then what happens is it shows that you're on time. It shows that you are making sure that you know what your market looks like, making sure you have all of that information that you are the professional that you are. Number three, be polite, be professional, okay? Have those phone calls, but I talk to so many sellers and so many people that get into it and they're like, they're just like, they're rude. Like sellers can be very, very rude. I literally had a, a seller call, or I called up a seller just this week and he literally calls up, answers the phone, I say who I am, click, hangs up. I called back right away and I was like, hey, this is Kyle Powers, you know, we got disconnected. But here's the thing with that is that deciding, deciding who you're going to be as an agent is crazy important for you. So going out there, being polite, be professional, no matter what they say to you, because some people are gonna be rude, some people are gonna be mean, don't get discouraged, it's not you, it's them. <laughs> but having that, you know, having that professionalism with it and then continuing to follow up. If they're rude and you don't wanna work with them, just don't call them back, it's that easy. Number four is highlight why you, they need to use you. They don't know you from Adam or Eve, they just need to make sure that you have your 30 second elevator pitch. And if you don't know what an elevator pitch is, go check that out. But you need to have that elevator pitch of why they need to be working with you, okay? My goal is during this time period is just get them to agree to sit down with me. Okay, because I know if I can sit down with them, I can really show them what I'm doing and why it's different than the agent that they had and why it's different than that. I know for me, I've built a huge business on expired listings. And so I literally had a listing one time that uh, they literally went through and said, the house had been listed for no joke, two years. I took it, created my own stuff with it, took my own photos, took everything. And then I sold the house in less than four months. And it was one of those cool things where I was able to really challenge them and challenge myself really, cause I didn't know if I could do it, but I did it. And that's one of the things that I use for in my elevator pitch that I've built this business. I know that I can still revitalize your home and sell this expired listing, even if it's been on the market for years on end. Fifth thing on our list is address the reasons that it didn't sell. And I'm not saying that you need to give reasons, but ask the seller, you know, and just be quiet. Say, you know, hey, Mr. And Mrs. Smith, I was just kind of curious, why don't you think it's sold? Let them talk. Let them go through that piece of it because what's gonna happen is they're gonna give you little nuggets that you can use to help them sell their house. You know, was it photos? Was it uh, marketing? Was it lack of, of, of um, 
uh, energy into the house and, and marketing and things that way. Did their agent, was their agent too busy doing other things? You know, who knows, but let them give you the answers that they're, that they're looking for. Let them answer your question and then you can go and fill in those blanks for them. Again, if you guys do enjoy this content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go and hit that little bell so you get notified of any future content and give us that like because it does help our channel. But we'll go and jump right back in. Number six on the list is probably one of the most important things, follow up. And if I didn't say it before, follow up. And then again, follow up. <laughs> I will tell you, having that initial call is always the hard part but you also wanna follow up with them. I literally have a list of, of clients and potential clients that I'm calling that's saying, hey, you know, this Kyle Powers, I talked to him a week ago or a month ago or whatever their timeline is, you know, just checking in, is there anything I can do? Do you have any questions? What can I do to help out? You know, and staying in touch with them. Now, be careful because the moment it goes active again, if it didn't go with you, you need to be able to uh, step back from that one, but watch that. Cause I always get a lot of people that are like, oh, I'm gonna give my, my agent another 30 days. Cool, no worries, do that. I hope it sells for you. And if it doesn't, I'm here to help. I wanna make sure that I'm here to help you and make sure that it is an easy and seamless transition uh, to make sure that it is. And the other thing I always do too, if they're scared of talking to their agents, I literally will call those agents, be like, hey, you know, John Doe, Mr. and Mrs. Smith over here at Main Street said that, you know, they're interested in going with me. I know, you know, no hard feelings or anything. I just kind of followed up, whatever it is, whatever the conversation needs to be for you. But just have those conversations and do those hard conversations for them because a lot of people don't like doing it. Seventh one on our list is going to be offer a new pr approach. And what I mean by that is, you're not the same as every real estate agent out there. I know that because you're watching this video, which means you're looking to better yourself. So what does that approach look like? You know, trying a different listing presentation, trying different marketing techniques, trying different things that you can be really kind of paying attention to, but having those different opportunities. And again, maybe it's the 3D imaging, maybe it's the drone footage, maybe it's um, professional photos, maybe it's professional staging, whatever it is, whatever your value add is, be able to offer that to them because they're gonna want a different approach. They don't want the same old approach where you drop a sign, you throw it on the MLS with your cell phone photos and that's what you do, right? So you need to be able to show what that is and show them and tell them why you're different and offer that different perspective. Number eight is be prepared to negotiate. You know, let's say that the other agent before you says, Oh, I'll do it for 3%, no worries, we'll get you taken care of. And they cut their commission way low. I'm not telling you to do that because I don't think that if you're truly giving value to a seller, they're gonna see that. And so you need to prepare yourself to negotiate and make sure that it is a win-win solution for you and for them. Because if you're gonna do everything that you're supposed to do, which if you do have questions about that, give me a call, I'd love to talk with you and show you that. Um, but if you do, be prepared to negotiate with these sellers because more than likely they have a seller or a listing agent that didn't do the job, didn't do their job as of selling a house. That's why you're calling because the listing expired. But they're going to say, well, all real estate agents do is X. Okay, fine. That's all that real estate agent did. So show them why you're different and negotiate with them and give earn your commission with that one. And I've got different negotiating tactics for uh, commission objectives and objections and things that way. So again, if you have questions, go ahead and put a comment in the below. I'd love to talk with you a little bit about that because that is my favorite thing to do is negotiate. Number nine on the list is provide solutions. They already know what the problems are. Again, you just asked them what, why you think it didn't sell. So provide solutions for each of those. Show them, you know, the reason, or one of the things that I do is I take professional photos, then I take this, then I do this, then I do this, and I'm actually giving you solutions. I track the number of viewings we have. I track the number of people that show up on our, on our uh, Facebook ads. I get in front of people on social media. I do virtual walkthroughs. I do video walkthroughs. And I put your house literally everywhere so that if anybody breathes the word real estate, your house is in front of them whatever that is, be there and have them and provide solutions because they don't need more problems. They already had the problem that their house didn't sell. So now let's show them how to do it, how to give them a solution to how to make that happen for them. Number 10 is sometimes one of my hardest ones, but I'll tell you it's a powerful one is be positive, be optimistic. Again, I say this because I've done it. I literally in my small town of Manhattan, Kansas, like I've built a huge business 
just off of expireds, okay? So being optimistic that you can sell their home, because when you walk into the seller, you talk to the seller, they're gonna say, oh, you know, I, you know, I didn't, we didn't sell, the market's not right, the market's not this, the market's not that. No, be optimistic, show them, tell them why it's different, why it's been different for you and what that difference is. You know, for me, it's, it's very simple as, you know, here's the thing, I've built a business off of this. I call up expired listings, I revitalize a listing when it comes to this one, and, and, and I do new photos, I do all new staging with you and you utilize your furniture, if, it, if it's occupied, do those things. But go through the list of items of why it's different and why you know that you can sell that house for them because that's what they need, that's what they want, right? Like they need to sell the house. And even if they're waiting, who cares? Stay in touch with them, follow up with them, give them solutions, help them out, and do all this stuff. I would highly recommend doing all this stuff for free up front because they're gonna, if you're doing all this and giving to them, they're gonna come to you. That's the way it works, right? It's just the law of reciprocation. Like you do something nice for somebody, they wanna do something for you. So if you can do that, go do that. As always, I do appreciate you guys checking out this videos. If you do enjoy the content or if you want to see more of it, go and hit that subscribe button. Go and hit that little bell so you get notified of any future content and give us that like because it does help us grow this channel. Again, I do appreciate it. My name is Kyle Powers with the Elevated Realtors. We are partnering with other real estate agents in the industry worldwide and helping people level up the level of professional level professionalism in the real estate industry. So if you do have questions for me, please reach out to me personally. My cell phone number is 785-477-5485. My email is kyle at homesforsalemhk.com. And if you have any questions about partnering with myself and, and at eXp Realty and all the trainings and all the support and everything that we offer for you guys as real estate agents in our company, please reach out to me. I would love to talk with you a little bit more about it. But until next time, we'll see you later.